Good day, one and all. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17 and at our website, WSKITV.com, where you can find this forecast all year round for the main high peaks, brought to you by 45 North, serving breakfast and dinner in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. And this weekend, we have a bit of sunshine to start Saturday with, but clouds will be on the increase. Temps really pleasant, 71 to 75 for highs, getting down to the low to mid 50s overnight, so we'll put a light blanket on on Saturday night. Calm winds in the morning, becoming southerly, just around 5 miles per hour in the afternoon. So pretty good day, although clouds will be on the increase. No precip expected, though. On Sunday, nothing but sunshine all day long, warming up a couple more degrees, 75 to 79, but still not too hot, just right. Overnight lows getting down to 57 to 61. Northwest winds will switch around to the southwest in the afternoon, but only about 5 miles per hour. If you have next week off for vacation, it's a pretty good week. Not too hot the whole week. We won't probably even hit 80 degrees, so that's okay for those of us who've had enough of the warm weather already. Mostly sunny on Monday, 79 overnight, 63. Tuesday, mostly cloudy, 30% chance of showers, 77 for a high, getting down to 64 overnight. Wednesday, 40% chance of showers or thunderstorms and mostly cloudy. But again, temps only getting into the upper 70s. Mountain bike trail conditions remain in great shape in the valley. We haven't had too much rain to make anything too muddy, so get out and ride. Make the most of it if you need some help. Or just some advice, Kara Bassett Valley Bike, located in Valley Crossing, is open every single day from 9 o'clock till 4 o'clock with all kinds of help to be had. Bob knows all the trails very well around here. And ATV trail conditions are also in great shape across the entire main High Peaks region. The next big club ride is Saturday, August 18th, out to Tim Pond, so make sure you get in touch and make your reservations to go. The bag, whiskey in the summer, and Bloody Marys on Sunday mornings. A Sugarloaf institution now open in the summertime for the second summer in a row on the mountain. There's music at the plaza on Saturday night. It's Borderline Express. There's also music at the rack, of course, on the weekends. And make sure you check out the sale happening at Copeland Co-op. All kinds of lovely things to be found there. But right now, their big plant sale is certainly worth checking out. And if you want to do some kayaking, head on up to the Pines Market. They also have paddle boards available. They are Old Town Dealers. That's the Pines Market in Eustis, open every single day of the year from early until late. And if you don't want to do the paddling yourself, we'll give Jeff Hinman a call. 246-2277 for the Flagstaff Lake Scenic Boat Tours. Make that something you do before they pull the plug on the lake after Labor Day. The Blood Drive coming up next Wednesday. They want some more people, so please get in touch. Sign up now. That's an important blood drive on the mountain in the hotel. And we want you to know we'll be producing a new dining guide soon. So if you're a local restaurant owner and not already a WSKI sponsor, get in touch with us. Make sure you are in before we produce it in time for homecoming. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, always in addition to our website, WSKITV.com. We keep you in touch with what's happening from the Canadian border to Kingfield all year round. We're on Channel 17 with Spectrum, but otherwise, make sure you check us out, WSKITV.com.